I just bought this locker for $1,000. This one's heavy. It could be an instrument. Yeah, this one's like a briefcase. Thinking... Oh! oh! oh yeah! Welcome back to What's Inside. Today we are going to see what's inside of a storage locker inside Las Vegas, Nevada. I just bought this locker for $1,000 because it had some interesting things inside. Like this, musical instrument case, musical instrument case, Apple computer down here, old briefcases and cases. Now it's time to see what's inside of it, but one problem, this place closes literally in 15 minutes. So we have to get everything out in 15 minutes. And that's a wrap of that storage locker. That's how you clean a unit out. Good thing I've got my muscles here, Jonathan. And uh, we got his truck, we're gonna load it up right now. And we're gonna go, I think there's some interesting things inside of here. For now, let's go home and uh, let's show the family. <laughs> back at home and it's amazing how many things from a five by four storage locker that was pretty organized. How much stuff it actually is. We filled up an entire truck bed. If we even got like a larger one, like 10 by 20, that would be like this entire room. It would have been trouble. $1,000, are we gonna make our money back? I feel optimistic with some of these bags and stuff. We have some instruments, suitcases. An iMac. Is there actually something in there? We'll have to look and see. Let's start with this thing right here because it's on top and it's kind of in the way. What on earth is um, that? Some sort of weird, like swing that has like velvet on it. Why is velvet there... swing with? I mean, these, this is strong right here. It's meant for some heavy weight. Yeah. Yeah. would love that. Yeah, you could Fire, put, you hang this up like somewhere, that. swing on it. Let's go with thing number two now. that's on the table. Oh, I think you might be right. This one I thought was like a oboe, is that an yeah. instrument? I thought it was some oh, kind of mannequin. instrument from the picture. There it thinks it's a mannequin. Oh, yes. Oh, ho, ho. It is a mannequin. But it's a weird one. It has like different sizes. Do you put what clothes on it? And is it like for tailoring clothes or something? It must oh, be. What do people use this for? Let's get this off the table, I guess. We'll just set stuff over here. I want to open these ones. Oh, oh, it opened. Dang it. What? Kind of. Why are you doing Because maybe they locked it, it'd be more valuable stuff. Ah. Oh, wow. Blue <laughs> wow. sticks. Blue sticks. And There's a very there. powerful magnet. Oh. Is that an instrument? Kind of uh, trash in that. This one's heavy. It could be an instrument. Yeah, this one's like a. Oh! oh! Old based on the like the case. It looks case a little looks old. amazing. Okay, there's a name on here. Henry Selmer Paris. Whoa! What? What is it? Oh say? my gosh! That's the storage locker. <gasps> what? Look how much that's worth. I mean, worth. is that brand new or? 3,300. These are used ones. 3,300, 4,300, 5,100. Let's put this, let's put oh this back. 4,000, 2,400. Hey. We've made our money back I already. Guess it is. Well, this one. Here's this, the next little case. I think case. it's an instrument also. No. Okay. No. no. Fluffy handcuffs. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Maybe a Gucci watch. Is it really Gucci? <laughs> yeah, like, oh, Gucci. Oh, it is Gucci. <laughs> That's good. Okay, okay, there it is. There it is. It popped up. I think it just needs to be polished up, but yeah, yeah. Like, this will at least be a few hundred dollars. Yeah. This is real Gucci. Okay. Okay. Let's check this thing out. Big old iMac. Oh yeah, there's definitely something in there. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's the iMac right there. I would think somebody would pay a few hundred dollars for that. I don't know. Am I yeah, crazy to think that? Nope. Please don't be full of clothes. It feels like really squishy. Oh! oh check it out. You can play stuff. Go for it. And... Yeah. Ooh, that last note. Yeah. Okay, guitar. There we go. We got yeah. a guitar here. Oh. Wait, is that a shoe? Yes. It's shoes. the tiniest shoe ever. Oh my. Shoes. shoes. Flip flops. Yeah. Boots. People's shoes kind of creep me out. This will go to Goodwill. Don't. We're not putting a dollar amount on any of the shoes. We're going to give them to Goodwill. Somebody with tiny feet will like this. There's two of these bags. They say Dekine bags. Oh, oh a snowboard. Yeah. snowboard. Look at that. And another oh, snowboard. There's all the boots. Good. There's snowboard and boots. 
Let's throw $120 on it yep. for this one. I want that big one. This is very heavy. Woo! SKB, I think, I'm guessing California. It's a piano, like some sort of electric. A piano, why would a piano be that heavy? What do you think it is? is heavy. Yeah, right, that's true, this is a bulk yeah. case. Oh, look at that. It Leslie is, is oh in the God. money. Okay, I'm looking this up on eBay right now and sold in the last month. This exact one is sold for $695. What? This is the weird part. When you open people's stuff. Oh. I don't know why, but it grosses me out. Just some clothes that smell old and dusty and a fake thumb. Everybody needs a fake thumb, I guess. This is definitely the best thing that we found inside of this storage locker, and I think it made back the money of it. We have, obviously have to sell it. You don't always make money off of storage lockers. We've had some busts before. We've purchased five of them now. I'd say one of them was a fail, maybe two. It's always interesting to go through somebody's stuff that you now own and figure out the story. This is somebody in Las Vegas that was a performer a musician, a magician. They're from somewhere in Europe and probably left. As a bit of an update on some of our old videos, we've actually had the people reach out to us and we're able to verify who they are and get some of their things back to them. So we find it fascinating to buy these things. And of course, we will try to sell some of the items. But it'd be so great to be able to actually give some of the stuff back to the people sure. that are the ones. There were some boxes that was personal information like family pictures. I do know the people's names and some things about them. But we are giving that back to the storage locker so that they have the personal items in case the person reaches out to the storage locker. But if they happen to see our video, um, we definitely have some things that maybe we could give back to them. So yeah. that was a fun one and it was not a bust. All right, thanks for watching. And if you haven't seen it already, check out some of our other storage locker videos. We have very cool ones coming. This okay, heads up! Ah. Oh, Leslie, ooh, you got a lift when you pulled. <gasps> no! I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say... What's out on a limb? Let me... <laughs> I'm making I a guess. I don't know why I'm going out on a limb. I'm gonna make a guess here. 